Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. Recently, people have been asking, Chinese chips have been stuck in the neck for so many years, when will they stand up? To be honest, seeing the development of RISC-V chips in recent years, I want to shout, it has stood up. And it has directly turned the monopoly of the United States and ARM upside down. Today, let's talk about this Chinese counterattack that is reshaping the global semiconductor landscape. How frustrated was China in the chip field before? X86 and ARM are like two mountains, blocking all the roads. Intel has occupied 90% of the PC market with X86, and its revenue in 2024 will directly reach 79 billion US dollars. AIM is even more exaggerated, 95% of the world's mobile chips have to use its architecture, and the annual shipment volume is 15 billion. The worst thing is that these two giants hold the power of life and death. As soon as the United States imposes export controls, Huawei's Ascend chips will be directly discontinued due to restrictions on X86 architecture licensing. Although AIM is a British company, in 2020, a foreign direct product rules caused TSMC to stop supplying Huawei Kirin chips. The economic accounts are even more heartbreaking. For every X86 server built by China, it has to pay 15% of the patent fee to others. In 2024, this item alone will lose 34 billion. Mobile phone chips also have to pay more than 20 billion in ARM licensing fees every year. Remember that ZTE was fined 1.4 billion US dollars and Huawei was cut off from supply. These bloody lessons tell China, if you rely solely on buying technology and renting architecture, you will always be strangled. In this desperate situation, Risk V is like a lamp that suddenly lights up in the dark. In 2010, Barclay Lab open sourced this instruction set, which was like sending a magic weapon to Chinese chip people, no need to pay licensing fees, modules can be assembled at will, the architecture is completely transparent, and China can even add security modules by itself. From 2018 to 2025, the number of Chinese Risk V Alliance companies has skyrocketed from 32 to 356. Alibaba Pingtu GE's Xiantai Series and Guoshin Technologies CCFC 3009 PT, the entire industry chain, took off directly. The most amazing thing is China's breakthrough in the field of automotive electronics. China now produces 20 million new energy vehicles annually, accounting for 65% of the world. The demand for automotive-grade MCU chips is 4.3 billion per year, and it is still rising at a rate of 28%. Zijing M100 directly won the highest ASILD safety certification, and it is as stable as an old dog in extreme environments of minus 40 degrees to 150 degrees. Its performance is better than ARM Cortex R52, and the cost is directly cut by 28%. After the bosses of car companies calculated the accounts, they were shocked, isn't this better than buying foreign chips? Performance breakthroughs are even more amazing. Ru Sixin's Lingyu chip has 64 risk v cores, a computing power of 9600 SPE Sint, and a power consumption 40% lower than Intel Xeon, even saving 62% of liquid cooling costs. The mobile terminal is not left behind. Alibaba's Xiantai C930 has a single core performance of 19.9 GHz under the 4 nanometers process, directly surpassing ARM Cortex X3. The AI acceleration unit is even more exaggerated, with a computing power of 192 tops. Running the transformer large model is like playing. In terms of manufacturing and tools, China is not behind. SMIC's 14 nanometers risk v chip yield has reached 94.3%, and the gap with TSMC's 16 nanometers 98.5% is getting smaller and smaller. 
Shanghai Microelectronics 28 nanometers lithography machine has achieved mass production and can process 120 wafers per hour. Huawei's Kuanping EDA is a stroke of genius. It supports RISC-V in the entire process from design to verification, and the 7 nanometers design efficiency is directly increased by 30%, completely getting rid of the dependence on Synopsys tools. In terms of ecological construction, it is simply a battle of surrounding the city with the countryside. Hongmeng 4.0 directly supports RISC-V natively, and the database query performance of Tongshan UOS is improved by 22% after optimization. The most surprising thing is that even Microsoft Windows 12 has begun to be compatible with RISC-V, and the domain controller tested by Tesla's Shanghai factory has a latency as low as 2 milliseconds. International giants have begun to turn against each other. Isn't this signal obvious enough? In terms of standard setting power, China has struck hard. China holds 38% of the world's risk v core patents, and the Pinghu instructions, led by Pingtu GE, are directly included in international standards. Bosch of Germany took the initiative to join the China risk v alliance, and Volkswagen signed a $1 billion order with a wave of its hand, and will install 3 million vehicles before 2026. This is not selling chips, it is clearly exporting Chinese standards. Let's look at the reaction of the old rival. Intel launched an open source plan, but only opened patents below 22 nanometers. It is clear that it does not want China to break through the advanced process. Chinese manufacturers do not buy it at all. Only three companies signed contracts in the first quarter of 2025. ARM is even worse. In order to retain Chinese car company customers, the licensing fee has dropped from 2.5% to 0.8%, but it still cannot stop risk fee from soaring to 37% in the industrial control field. Now China's risk fee chip annual production capacity has exceeded 5 billion, meeting 70% of the Internet of Things needs and the industrial control modules exported to ASEAN are 35% cheaper than ARM solutions. The Risk v Security White Paper, led by academician N.I. Guangnan, has become an ISO international standard draft, and China has begun to define global chip security specifications. Think about it, x86 took 20 years to dominate PCs, ARM took 15 years to dominate mobile terminals and RISC-V took only five years to lead Chinese chips to complete the miracle from following to overtaking. When China's self-developed RISC-V chips are running on Great Wall Motors production lines, and when Alibaba Cloud servers use China's own architecture, this is no longer a simple technological breakthrough, this is an epic counterattack that will rewrite the global semiconductor power structure.